Hi guys, welcome to this short video about how to read an e-marker in a USB-C cable with an FNB58 USB meter. That's one of the most advanced USB meters. I just bought it and yeah, it really convinces me uh, regarding the user interface because the FNB48, the previous model, is really, really bad and this is much better and so you can do most things even without the manual, which I don't have at the moment. I couldn't find it and somebody asked me if I could tell what the specs are of this cable. That's, uh, I think it's a 100 watts cable, it has even a built-in display here and so I tried to figure out without any information. I googled for that and I couldn't find it and so I just tried. Uh, by the way, what's important here of course, you need to power this device here, the FNB58. I had it in the left position for PD. I don't know if it makes a difference here, probably not. I mean, it's USB-A, so it doesn't make a difference. So what we have to do here to test such device, of course, the input here. I don't know if there's a difference here in this case, but uh, sometimes with these cables, there's a difference when they have a display. So you have to start with the side which doesn't have a display. And so that's here, that's the input USB-C on this side, I think. No, with the 48, there was some description in the back here. We don't have any description, it just says USB-C, but it says input and here it says output. So I go here with the input uh, with the side, which doesn't have the display. And so on the output side, I go with the display. So here we are. And it was pretty easy to do, so we just push down here, then we can select the function, we go to toolbox, push down again, and then we go, like switch to the right side, till we see the USB-C E marker, push down again, and we can see all the numbers here. I mean, it's saying USB 2.0 length, 1 to 2 meters. I think this is some of the things which is also in the E marker. Then we have a maximum voltage of 20 volts, which is super important to know because some of the devices are using up to 28 volts already. And we have a maximum current of 5 amps, which makes then the 100 watts, which it has also in the specs. It's sold as a 100 watts USB C to C cable. So this matches totally. I don't know if there's more information. When we push here down, we can see some other things, but I have really no clue what this thing here is. And when we push again, it goes back to the first page. We go left and right, doesn't show more information. So this person asked me if it's PD 3.0 or what it is. It looks like there is no information about the PD. So I guess the PD is just a software thing which is not built in into the e marker but i could be wrong don't pin me down on this i mean i'm definitely not an expert on e markers i just know that some of the usb c cables have e markers especially the ones with a very high data transmission rate or high power in the very low end USB C to C cables. There are no e marker chips built in. I don't know if it's not needed. I don't know if there's a standard for that. I just heard or read that the higher specs USB C cables all have a, or have to have an e marker chip here inside. And so it looks like it definitely has one here. So this is just a basic video trying to help you because I really couldn't find any information how to do such a check but maybe i just googled it wrong i really have no clue but i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or maybe you can tell me how to get more information then just write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and learn new stuff and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time